Hey guys, uh, I'm back with another tutorial. I wanted to show you guys how to set up a toggle system real quick. Uh, this can be done in like five minutes really quick once you get the hang of it. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how I get them done. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave all my Discord and contact information down in the description below. So, let's say if you want to toggle this harness on and off, all you got to do is load it up at first and drag the harness you might need to unpack it what you do is I'll take this for example you click this right click and then unpack prefab and that'll be gray like this so you take this harness drag it under your Rexuium root I also have another tutorial on how to connect all this up if you want to take a look at that that video would also be in the description um, but as far as this goes, that's all you need to do to attach it. Uh, so you will want to go click your Rexuium, go down to <coughs> parameters, double click. And I like to get it maybe full. Uh, the latest update has been using bools, so you might have some memory left. Uh, today we will be using bools. Um, if you want a full outfit selection uh, you can use integers but um, bools only use one of these memory units integers use eight so for now we'll use that uh, we'll change this belly full to harness change this float to a bool and then say we only we lost seven because this one is one and before it was using eight so what we do now is we go to expression menu now this is when you are in vr chat and you hit the expression um to the the quick menu the expression you go over right this is what you'll see you'll see belly full body and head controls uh, you can add a new control <clears throat> click this to drop it down rename it harness toggle Give it an icon if you want. You don't need to. I'll give it a rock symbol. Change this button to toggle. In this parameter, you'll want to choose the harness. That's all you have to do for that. Go back to your Rexuium. Go to FX Overriders. Click on this parameter. And then plus bool. Make sure this is spelled the same. So harness. Go back to layers. Plus harness. Cog wheel. Turn that up to one. And actually, I'm going to check my state parameter. Yep, harness spelled correctly. Always good to double check. All right. <clears throat> I may need to zoom out with the mouse wheel. Move it around by clicking in the mouse wheel. Once all that is been set up, you right click, create state, empty. This will be your idle. You want to create another one. This will be gray. Left click on any state, right click, make transition over to the gray new state. Right, left click this, make a transition to exit. And this will be your condition to exit and your condition to toggle it or to start the toggle. Now with this arrow, you'll go over to this conditions list, create, and then you'll find your harness parameter. Now for bools, this will say true. If you want to make an integer, uh, this will say equals greater than less than or not equal and then zero one two three um i can show you guys how i set up my integers on a after this video i will have a quick screenshot of how i set that up but as since we're doing bools i will just show you this now so harness true click this plus harness false i always unclick this has exit time and now we will create an animation on toggling this off. 
So what you'll want to do now is click your Exuium, Control C, Control V, create a copy, go over to this animation. If this does not pop up, you'll want to go over here with these three bars, add tab, and then there's this animation tab that you will add. Um, but you will want to cre hit create, name it harness toggle. And then once you have this, add property, find your harness. Um, if you connect something to your head that you want to toggle, you will we'll need to go through the armature. But since this is just attached to our base, we'll just hit harness and then is active. Hit this plus. There will be a second keyframe over here. You will just need to delete this. You'll just need the one and have it toggled. Game object is active with a check mark. Now you can get rid of your copy. Click your harness in the inspector. Click this check mark off. And then go back. Click your Rexuium. Go back to your FX overriders. Double click. Click this gray new state and over by motion, you'll hit the circle. Now find your harness animation. You can use a search bar, just type in harness toggle right there. And now it will toggle on and off when you go into your menu and push a button. Um, it is that simple. Um, it can get more difficult with, say, hue shifters and all that fun stuff. I might cover that in another video, but for now, this is just a very simple tutorial on how to toggle basic harnesses and, um, say, hat or sunglasses if you want to add those to your character and not have them on all the time. But that is it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Heather, I just wanted to show you guys how I set up my integer to uh, toggles really quick. Uh, this character, I have a bunch of outfit options on, and I figured this would be the best one to show you guys how that one works. So I will go into my character, scroll down to my state parameters, and see how I have a mixture of bools and integers. Uh, integers it uses up eight memory, but the nice thing about integers is that if you have more than eight options, it will actually save memory. Um, I will show you how to do that in a bit. I also have hue shift, which is float. I might show how to do that on a different tutorial. Um, skin, I have different skin options. And then of course, bools. Um, I would recommend using bools if it is on off so you have to toggle the other one off in order to have the next one on the nice thing about integers is that once you click that button it will automatically turn the other off and put the next one on so i will go to my expressions menu and this is how i have everything set up i have a nice outfit sub menu uh, how you create that is you go into your assets, just right click, create VR chat avatars and expressions menu. And then you'll get something like this, which is full of your um, parameters and descriptions. So you can make a toggle, you can make a button, you, make a, you can make a slider. Uh, instead of true and false, you will give it a value of what, once you click this button, it will give this a certain value. So it could be one, two, three, all the way up to 128. It could be, you know, you have a bunch of options there. Uh, you are kind of limited on how many expressions menus you can get. Um, you are limited to eight slots in each expression menu. And I think eight expression menus in the main folder. Um, I'm not gonna do the math on that now, but it is a lot of options you can, you can have. And then I will
will show you how to well, I set up my FX. So same parameters, just fill this in. If it's a bool, hit, hit bool. If it's an integer, hit integer. Go back to your layers. I have controls for each eye. So this will change the material to blue, green, pink, and white. For my exit, I do an equal zero on all of them. And then for going into them, I have equals one, equals two, equals three, equals four. Now you do have to make these match up with each expression menu, but that is fairly easy to do. You just need to pay attention on which one is connected to which. Um, I also have the same for hair, so I can toggle a different hair. Outfits, this is full. Again, all of them are on equal zero, has exit time off, and all of these that are going into the animation equals three equals two they just have to be different um, you can add um, additional so say you want this harness and this um, say swimsuit to pop up at the same time you can hit a new toggle and each of those have to be on in order for that animation to trigger because once this is triggered, then the swimsuit will turn off and the harness will turn on. And if you want both of them, uh, I would suggest using a bool. Or if you want to play around with conditions, then you can do that as well. And then, of course, uh, hue shift. Uh, that's just a simple blend tree. Again, I'll cover that in another video. But if you have any questions on how to set this up, something like this, feel free to message me. Uh, again, I will leave my contact information down in the description if you have any questions. Uh, again, thank you for coming, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.